Today we're going to look at Proverbs 18, verses 1 and 2. Through desire, a man having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. You know, this this proverb, or these two verses, brings to mind a... Uh, brings to mind somebody who's fairly rash and too quick to rush into things. You know, we can, we all, we all have known that teen or that teenager who's, uh, who's rushed, who, who goes against the wisdom of his, of his parents, of his teachers, you know, you name the individual, but it goes against, go against, goes against his better judgment and just rushes into, rushes into things. You know, we've all done it. We've all just rushed into things and not not considered uh, the wisdom behind or the wisdom of why we are being told what to do and what not to do. I would be a fool if I didn't take the wisdom of somebody that had better knowledge of the things of something I was wanting to go do. I'd be a fool not to take the wit not to take the business of advice of a seasoned businessman. If I was especially if I was wanting to start a business. And what verse 1 is saying here is a fool, or the desire of the man, something that he wants, ultimately wins out over him, over what he, over, uh, over wisdom. It's intermental and it's mixing in. He's not, he's not wanting to consider his actions. He's not wanting to take, he's not wanting to take the advice, the wisdom of those who know better. And in verse 2, we see here, a fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. You know, we look at this and we see, verse 1 and verse 2, a fool is more likely to boast about his follies than what a wise man would. A wise man will take what, he, will take what he's learned, learn from his folly, and, and learn from it and not go back to it. A fool, on the other hand, will sit and brag about it. You know, we've, for example, we all know, or we've all worked in those places where there's maybe a considerable amount of heavy drinking, and we hear the stories of these guys who come out and brag about their times that about the times they've had. That's foolish. You know, we've all we all like to we all like to remember those funny stories we have, but we also need to remember that those stories have a purpose, and that we need to learn from them. Basically, the gist of this passage is this. Don't rush into things. And if you do, learn from your mistake. Take the advice of those around you. So that way you don't have to worry about, so that way you don't have a story to tell. But rather, you can have a, but rather you can have a successful, a successful experience in whatever it is that you're trying to do. Remember, always seek out wise counsel.